All right, I'm Nick. I just got back and cleaned up from this morning's fishing trip. I went out and did a little scouting for some upcoming charters. Following the hurricane, as expected, the water was dirty, uh, the current was moving pretty good west to east, and in the water there was a bunch of debris, whether it was garbage or vegetation. Now that vegetation and stuff finds its way out there following a storm surge, the water comes up, water goes out, and a bunch of garbage is sucked out the passes. Happens every single year. It helps clean the bays out, but it also puts a lot of trash into the ocean, or Gulf of Mexico in this instance. Um, we try to go out following these storms because the fish will congregate around these floating piles or floating vegetations or weed lines or whatever you want to call it. Uh, got lucky today. There was three, three triple tails sitting on this pile of vegetation, which is kind of exciting. You don't get to see it very, very often off the beach. Probably see it once or twice a year. They were too small. They're only 14 inches. They have to be 18 inches to harvest. I probably wouldn't have kept them anyways just because I have enough fish laying around. I just I didn't need anything. I like to figure fish go too, right? So I ended up catching two out of the three. It's going to be really cool for you guys to see some underwater footage and then see them swimming next to the kayak. They actually ended up leaving the brush pile and coming over to the kayak and they hung out with me for probably a half hour. Um, I enjoyed watching them. It's kind of cool to see. It's a really, really cool species. They're yellow when they're juveniles and they lose the yellow as they age. Uh, obviously, you can see in the video that these guys had a little bit of yellow on them still. Really, really cool to see. They hung out. Uh, typically, in the past, we have you know multiple kayaks with us and people are loud and they spook them. I was all myself, so I was able to keep them right next to the kayak. It was really cool. I'll stop yapping. Here's some video footage of it. I got all three of these triple tail. There's two of them. There's a third one down there somewhere. They're on that brush pile over there. Now they're just hanging out with me. Just can't get them to eat. I need to reposition my bait, but they're kind of cool just to watch. Cool fish. Probably, none of them are probably big enough. 16 inches, I believe. There they are, though. There's the third one. Oh, they're looking at it. They're all around it. That's exciting. I finally got him to eat it. He ain't gonna be big enough. There he is. This guy. Oh, hold on a second. Pretty little fish. One of the biggest benefits of going out in the Gulf of Mexico is you really never know what you're going to see. Now, obviously, I didn't expect there to be any kind of mahi on that brush pile as it drifted to me in the current because the water was real, real dirty. But I did see some flying fish this morning, so that's good news. Gulf of Mexico, you never know what's going to be there. Every time you go out, there's a new adventure, and it's fun. This is a small glimpse of the things I get to see on a daily basis. If you guys have any questions or you want to book a fishing charter, that dang bug won't leave me alone. Give me a call or shoot me an email at nick at Thanks for watching.